First step when replacing the LCD panel on any laptop is to make sure the laptop is not plugged in and to remove the battery. Unfortunately, there is no easy access to the LCD on this model. The entire display assembly needs to be extracted through partial disassembly. Let's start by removing all the necessary screws. We'll get two short screws on the back side and four long screws on the bottom close to the back side. Then four short screws on the left side and four short screws on the right side. We have two more screws on the inner side of the battery compartment wall. Then we go ahead and remove the uh, memory compartment screws and the compartment cover. Inside there are two more Torx screws. Please use a proper Torx screwdriver, otherwise you could damage the screws. Now we can open the laptop and remove the palm rest. Carefully lift from the rear and don't yank the palm rest off right away. Instead, lift it like so to get a clear view of the connection to the logic board. Disconnect the ribbon cable leaving any tape on it and set the palm rest aside. Disconnect the video cable, then the Wi-Fi antenna cables. Then disconnect inverter power and the iSight camera cables. Now, go ahead and remove the hinge screws, and yes, they are Torx as well. Support the display assembly on the last hinge screw. Carefully lift the display assembly and set the laptop body aside. Alright, now that we removed a total of 25 screws in order to gain access to the bezel, the final two outside screws can be removed. Once the screws are gone, we can separate the top cover from the display assembly. Using a spudger or a flat screwdriver on the right side, pry open the display assembly. Please make sure you're not trying to wedge in between the aluminum top cover and the grey plastic. The grey plastic is a permanent part of the back cover. Instead, we're separating the aluminum bezel from the grey plastic. Carefully remove the screen assembly from the back cover and set the cover aside. Place the display facing down and separate the green tape. Then pull out the backlight power from the inverter. Flip the assembly around and disconnect the eyesight ribbon cable. Eyesight cable is latched on the connector. Make sure to lift the tiny latch before pulling the cable out. Failure to properly unlatch the connector will permanently damage it. Go ahead and lift the tape securing the video connector and leave it handy. Then disconnect the video cable. Turn the assembly to get a better view of the four small screws holding the screen on the side. Remove these screws. Turn the screen again to remove the four screws on the other side. Flip the screen assembly over. Aside from the screws, the screen is also glued in on the top and the bottom edges. If you care about the integrity of the LCD panel, use an X-Acto knife and a paper towel to properly remove the panel. If the screen is already broken, it is easier to snap the screen out by force. Place the paper towel on the screen against the top edge and exercising extreme caution, cut through the glue, sliding the paper towel together with the knife. Flip the screen around and repeat the procedure for the bottom edge. Make separation easier by keeping the bezel at an angle above the top edge. Cutting towards yourself is very dangerous. Please take your time. Once you feel the glue separated enough, start lifting the bezel upward from the top. Separate and discard the old panel. Take out the new panel and separate the protective film prior to installation. Place the new panel in the bezel, minding the tape and the cables. Secure the four side screws. Flip the screen around and secure the other four side screws. Then reconnect the eyesight cable, making sure the latch is still up when making the connection. Secure the latch and the tape. Carefully reconnect the video cable and secure it with tape. Reconnect the backlight power. All the connectors are very fragile, be extra careful. Secure any and all other tape. Place the screen assembly in the top cover, starting from the left edge. Be mindful of any protruding cables. Squeeze firmly around the perimeter, starting from the bottom edge. The tabs make a distinctive click when clicked in properly. Replace the two bezel screws. Put the laptop body back on the table 
and carefully line up the display assembly hinges. Refasten the hinge screws while supporting the display assembly. Reconnect the eyesight and the inverter power cables. Reattach the video connector, then the Wi-Fi cables. Secure all tape. Line up the bezel and reattach the ribbon cable. Start snapping the bezel in, starting from the outer edge. Make sure the screw tabs on the sides are lined up properly. Close the laptop and flip it over. Refasten the four short left side screws. Flip the computer around and refasten the four short right side screws. Turn the laptop again to refasten the two short back side screws. Then replace the two torque screws in the memory compartment. Don't forget the final two short screws on the inside wall of the battery compartment. Reinstall the memory compartment cover. Replace the memory compartment screws and finally the four long screws close to the back side. Reinsert the battery. Flip the laptop over and open it. Hit the power button to see if the screen is installed properly. Once the Apple logo appears, you will know if the screen is working properly. Hit the power button again to cancel the boot up and you're done.